Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Lovecraft 2.0 part. I don't actually ever know whatever part it is. I should really start keeping up with that. Uh, whatever. Anyway, welcome back guys and today I actually have no plan for this part. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do but we're gonna find something. We're probably just gonna look at the familiars mod a little bit, blah blah blah. But I just wanted to point out one comment from someone called My Sanity is Gone Forever and I seriously love you for this comment because you reassured me that I'm not gonna die. You're like, love, you have full diamond armor and a diamond sword. I promise a single skeleton will not kill you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why, but when I read that comment, I just laughed. I was like, you're so right. What the heck am I worried about? I act like I'm in like the first stages of armor. It's like, I'm wearing leather. Oh my god, the skeleton's gonna kill me. But like, no, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Anyway, we're gonna load up the game. We're gonna get straight into this. We're gonna look at this a familiar's guide if it's not nighttime and I don't have to go to sleep. So let's hope it's not nighttime. No, it is morning. That's when I spend the most time. No, I'm not. I'm not freaking out into music. Stop. So I guess I'm just gonna open the book. All right, current familiar, none equipped. Um, Chuck Norris, what? There's uh, apparently lots of different types. Um, oh, what is this? I don't understand how to use this. Uh, I'll just open the fam guide. Okay, so there's one up, gives you full health before dying once. I don't need that. Um, how to unlock, cost 50 EX. Oh, so it costs um, experience points. All right, that's interesting. That I like how they have to like, charge you I guess experience points because that forces you to go out and fight kind of what I need to start doing um let's see um so gives you full health once before da -da. okay so I want to go see the next one the chicken all right um player is gliding down for one second hmm available from the beginning no so let's keep on going Chuck Norris is locked why is he locked Oh my god, what does Chuck Norris do? Roundhouse kick by pressing R. <gasps> no friggin' way. I need this. It costs 50 XP. How to unlock? How to unlock? It costs. Oh, I wanna unlock it. I think I wanna unlock it. Roundhouse kick? I mean, come on. It's friggin' Chuck Norris. <laughs> we need this. Okay, let's keep going just in case. Um, next. Um, the champion cube, which is very cute with a little heart in the center, can walk on lava? Hell yeah! Okay, please, I want that. I can walk down all these caves without worrying about dying. Um, costs, it only costs seven experience points, hell yeah. Um, default mob pack. Okay, this familiar thing is gonna be very fun. I can see I'm gonna have fun with that. Oh, go back real quick. Um, teleport by pressing R costs two hearts. It's kind of worth it though. Teleport pressing R. I like that. That is really cool. All right. How much does this cost? 25 experience points? And I'm assuming we can just unlock multiple at a time. Okay, so next is the fairy. A lot of people have been telling me what this is. Um, let's see. No fall damage and the player is a gliding down. So no fall damage. I kind of like that because I'm always like falling off of things. So wait, wait, if I get this, I can jump off really, really, really high surfaces and not die. Is that what someone's telling me? It only costs seven experience points. Okay, that's interesting. And then the horror brine. I'm not gonna be able to read that. Um, huh? This has to be wrong. Teleport using R costs two hearts. That has to be wrong. Okay. The iron golem. Hell yes. I think you can only use one at a time. Like you can equip one, but you can unlock more than one. Someone tell me if I'm right or not. Um, costs 15 experience um, and throws mobs into air, deals two to five damage plus fall damage for mob. I want you. Look how legit he looks. Like freaking bow. Like, oh, oh my god. I like this. I like this mod a lot. But you know what he kind of reminds me of? What was that movie? The Iron Giant. Whenever I see Iron Golem, I'm just like, the Iron Giant, that movie from my childhood. Oh my god. Um, so that's interesting. And Navi, I've seen this in Cupquake's LP. It costs seven experience points and annoys you when diamonds or emeralds are nearby, but that's kind of unnecessary. I don't think I really need that at this point. Um, so how many more are there? Wow, there's a lot. Okay, so we only have a few more to go through. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but notch, um, lightnings at enemy by pressing R. 
so we throw lightning. That's interesting. Um, Ocelot is a faster sprinting, which I don't think I really need. Higher jumps, no fall damage. Huh, that's cool. It's so cute, look at that. Next, um, cost 10 experience points. Um, attacks mobs with arrows, deals 2 damage. All right. Throw snowballs, deals 1 damage. That's really irrelevant. <laughs> Next, the player is able to climb walls while holding left shift. Um, I don't think I want to do that. I can just get vines. I'm good. Next, attacks mobs um, and able to climb. Oh, so it's pretty much the double, the skeleton mixed with the spider. The player stay underwater longer. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all of them. Although I kind of think, um, I like two of these and they're pretty cheap. But for now, I'm going to go with no fall damage and the player um, glides down. I think I want to unlock this one and equip it. And I think now that it is equipped, yes, you can kind of see it. So if I go under player view, you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna go test this out. Um, not off a surface that's too high, but I wanna be able to honestly just fall into ravines when I want to and not have to worry about it. So let me find a high surface. Where is a high surface, like decent that I can jump off of? Or I can honestly just create one. So let me do that. Let's just create something kind of high. I think this is high enough. <gasps> oh, this is like holy grail. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, I like it, I like it a lot. We're gonna kind of stick to this one for a while. Let me just dig all the dirt back down and take it back. But I really like that. I want to be able to fall into ravines now and then I can just use the morph mod to turn into the bat and fly back up. So that's going to be interesting. Hello fairy, how are you? <laughs> um, it's about to turn to nighttime, so I'm going to just go back to my house really quick um, and we will then... Um, I think the only thing- yeah, I don't really like this mod because it takes too long to fall down. Maybe that's going to be a downfall. Alright, let's see, because like, you know how people use this to jump faster? It's kind of slow. Alright, um, I'll learn to deal. I'll probably just get used to it, and again, as my sanity is gone forever reminded me, it's probably not the end of the world. Um, I have diamond armor. I probably can't die that fast, <laughs> so. Um, another thing, let me read through these comments a little bit more to see what you guys have to say. Um... Other than that, you guys um, just recommended more mods. Um, I want to get that camping mod. A lot of you guys have been recommending that because I can get tents and I can just stay out longer and I think that would be really interesting. <gasps> One thing I want to do is get wool because I want to get a second bed without cheating and I saw a few sheep around here recently. So I have iron. I'm going to make myself some shears. So let me get into my chest, start cooking up some of my iron. Hold on a sec. Um, Let's see, that's the wrong place. <laughs> Let's put some of this away here. Start cooking the iron. I wanna make some torches as well because I am getting low on those. So we'll just carry a few more of these. That, that little cave hunt really did strip me of my resources. Um, so I'll just put the coal away up there, keep the sticks with me. And let me just move this pen out of the way because it keeps on crashing on my desk and making really, really loud noises. While the, um, iron cooks because I'm gonna make the shears so let me shears how does one make shears so it's only two pieces of iron so I'll take the two I'll let the rest of those cook but let's get this here and what the heck is this a toy soldier what okay I'm not gonna deal with that right now we'll figure that out later but I think maybe it's that mod that I got that it was like a whole bunch of decorating objects let me see I know there was like a crib a cradle! Oh my god, yes! So I can actually put my kids and stuff. I'm totally gonna do that. But now that I have my shoes, I'm gonna cut a few people in town. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> let my little fairy follow me out of here, and I'm gonna look for some sheepy weepies because I need new stuff for my bed. Mm-hmm. Those are chickens. Those are not sheep. Let me see if I can find some around here somewhere. Hello, sheepies. Where are you? Maybe they were a lot more far off than I thought they were. Um, I didn't know that was a thing. And this is another little water cave like my old house. This reminds me of the beginning before when we first started off my home. I could live down here, another cave kind of away from the town. 
This is kind of reminiscent. I am going to place a marker in town right here. So waypoint, possible home. Um, so possible home. Someone was saying that you wanted me to um, get married to someone new in this town and cheat on Fred. But I think that's outplayed. Maybe we will. I don't know. But speaking of the whole lava dilemma, um, will this burn in lava? Oh god, this is this is problematic. Mm, I want to get that iron. You know what? It's just not worth it. It's it's not. Let's keep on going. I mean, the main goal again. Let's find sheep. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepies. Where are they? Hmm. Now I'm thinking about just building a new home. That's all I have in mind right now. And I also see um, way more resources on the side of this hill too. I like the way this looks. So we're going to see what it is exactly that's around here. I see possible cave, dogs that we're not going to adopt because my game crashes. Um, this isn't a cave, but it looks like it. <laughs> I just walked into nothing. That's kind of embarrassing. Let's get up here because I see some resources that we can take. Let me turn into my little bat form. And um, I get this thing I'll roll in. Okay, let's see. I think going back down is going to be a dilemma because of this mod, but uh, it's fine. Let's take a look around. It's going to take me um, a longer while. To be able to mine this out but i don't really mind <laughs> get it mine mind <laughs> i'm not funny i'm really not okay so let's zoom on in here and this is a frequently asked question that i usually answer during live streams but i don't answer during my videos because i don't really remember to but a lot of people say oh <laughs> a lot of people say why don't i use face cam because i know a lot of other people who play minecraft do face cam but the thing is um why on earth um that was weird that was really weird did you guys see that that was strange um the what was i talking about again okay face cam thing is <laughs> honey boo boo i look ratchet like 99 percent of the time like <laughs> when i'm telling you i look bad like i look really really bad most of the time i don't feel like getting ready to like go on face cam to play a video game if i'm playing a video game i probably have my hair in a nasty little bun um and i just i probably look the worst someone can possibly look in front of an audience so to go on face cam to play a video game to show you guys what i look like with no makeup my hair a little stringiness all over the place especially now that i haven't been straightening it i've been doing like the curl weave yeah, honey, <laughs> I don't think you want to see this. Like, I, I guarantee you, you don't want to see this. But maybe now that I'm in bat form and we're kind of just scrolling around this hill here, I can probably scout out some sheepies. Hmm. Sheepies, where are you? I'm looking for you. I'm coming for you. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. So you can run and tell that, run and tell that, run and tell that, homeboy, home, home, homeboy. I'm not going to continue singing that song because that is just terrible and your ears are probably burning. So, alright, let's see. Yeah, I don't see sheep. How far back from here when I was traveling did I find the sheep? I don't know, but I really, really, really want to work on building that house over there. So I think I'm just gonna mine for a whole bunch of cobblestone, chop down a whole bunch of trees for wood in this part. Do you guys wanna see me do that? Well, guess what? Sucks for you, I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm not kidding that I'm actually gonna do it, I'm just kidding in the, the angry way I said it. Yeah, kind of, maybe. Um, let's turn back into our human form before I have to explain myself. And I'm gonna put the shears away, gonna take out my, um, my handy dandy little pickaxe and start, um, chopping into the side of this place right here. And my game's kind of lagging. Um, I think I'm gonna take cobble from over there just because this is too close to the house and I don't want it to seem obvious that I took resources. That was really scary. Did you guys hear that? Was that the fairy? I'm really hoping that was the fairy because otherwise I will be terrified to go anywhere that's two feet away from my home. Um, so just going to carve into this mountain here. 
which is probably not the safest thing to do in real life. Don't ever get a pickaxe and just chop into the side of a mountain because it's very likely that, you know, cobble will come down, rain on you, and kill you. Just saying. You ever see those movies about the coal miners? Literally, there was this one time we were watching, it was a... Uh, what's that guy's name? Um, Jake something, or is that his name? I don't know what his name is, but he's an actor. Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, and it's like a whole bunch of coal miners or something, and he lives in- he's like doing a science experiment, but his dad's a coal miner, and he eventually goes to work as a coal miner. And I just like kept on thinking the entire time, just because I know the history of coal mines, I'm like, someone's gonna die in this movie. I can't- oh my god, I can't sit here and watch this. And so, yeah, I just- oh, let's not talk about that. Whenever I see a movie with coal miners, I just expect something to go wrong. I just- I just do. It's- it's known fact that- it's probably gonna explode underground. If you're doing a movie on the history of coal mining, you also have to show the dangers. So it's very probable that in these movies, they will end up exploding that coal mine and stress the crap out of you because you're like, no, the hot main character, AKA Jake Gyllenhaal cannot die on me. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Now that that's done, I have a lot of cobble, but probably not nearly enough. I know the cave itself is made out of cobble, but sometimes there's like gravel in there that I need to fill in and dirt. So it's probably nice to have the most that I can. I'm also gonna now probably start getting wood now. I think this is enough from here. I'll leave that torch in there so nothing spawns in there. And we're gonna start chopping down some trees um, before the sun goes completely down, especially since my running is really slow. God, okay. This little fairy is gonna end up going. I can see it happening. So I'm gonna... Oh, it takes too long. It takes too long to get up and down and up and down. So let's see. I want to take out... Where'd my wood go? The wood is here, so I'm gonna just put some stuff away. Like the familiar's guide I probably could have left back at home, but... Um, we'll deal for now. So I didn't get any saplings from that tree, surprisingly. So we're gonna have to go to the forest on the other side of town. Um, but let's see, unless the sun starts to get really, really low. I don't think I'm gonna want to have to run from my home back to the village, back to the trees, etc, etc. So I kind of like the hover a little bit just because if there's like a tall surface, I don't have to do like the whole like double run jump thing. But yeah, let's see. I think I can make it to the trees over here before it gets too dark. Um, Cade in the Miner, are you new around here? Are you slow? I have a question for you, my friend. Are you slow? Because I've kind of been here for a while. I, I'm, I'm concerned for your health. I really am. Maybe you should go see the town's physician. Just a little suggestion. And oh, I see what the thing is. I already have saplings in my inventory. Probably, yup. So we're gonna replant some of these trees here. So again, be green guys, be green. Don't kill the environment completely for your selfish reasons because you want paper to educate your country. Hell no. Educate your country in the fact that they should keep trees alive or they're gonna die. Oxygen. Um, now let's just go all the way back to our house, go to sleep, and then we'll continue gathering our resources for our home. But yeah, um, the more time goes on, I want to like possibly explore more caves so that I can get more experience points so that I can unlock the Chuck Norris and then so forth. I just want to unlock all the familiars. That can be kind of like a goal achievement thing that we can work towards because I do like to have a goal I can work towards more than just playing the game and expecting something to come out of that, if that makes sense. So um, we're going to put the shears away. No, you know what? We're going to keep the shears because watch me find a sheep as soon as I put the shears away. So we're gonna keep the shears in our inventory. We're gonna put a lot of this cobble away for now, just so we can have that there. Um, the seeds can go in that pile, the eggs can go there. Coal, you can go in the inventory. And I think we're good. I, I'm gonna put away the wood too, just for now. And we can now go back, lag, 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 lag. We can now go back to the forest that are back here. Someone said, am I new around here? God, it's it's not really that known. Like, how am I not known? I thought I was pretty popular. I mean, look at me, look at me. I thought I was pretty popular. What do you think, fairy? Do you think I'm popular? No? Oh, all right then. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. <gasps> I think I see sheepies, hold on. That's a chicken! Why'd you have to be a chicken? Oh, 
why this actually reminds me back to paul source jr's videos i'm oh my god i'm this is so throwback right now because um nowadays i don't really have that much time to watch people but i first started watching minecraft videos because I, I was like a lot of people play minecraft let me see what people do with this and i was an absolute noob back then oh my god but I remember I started by watching Paul Soros Jr. survival videos, which I'm sure a lot of you guys actually started by doing the same thing, but um, I started by watching his videos on that, and that was summer of 2012, and it's almost summer of 2014, and summer 2012, hands down, best summer of my life, so like my heart aches for that time. Oh gosh, it's so sad. Like, you know, nostalgia kills. I was going through my favorited videos, like, you know, the videos that you favorite because you want to bookmark at some point and then you completely forget about. I was going through my favorited videos and I'm like, oh my god, I remember favoriting this video. I remember watching this. I remember doing that. And I'm like, oh, this is so nostalgic. This hurts. Why am I doing this to myself? Like, I, I went back to days where I, like, favorited Fruits Basket episodes to watch on YouTube when I favorited episodes of, like, mangas like um uh what is this uh a mermaid melody and st tons of random crap that i just would do on the internet pre summer where i met the alejandros and just so like pretty much so way back far back in the day and i'm like wow like wow just nostalgia it's such a great feeling and you keep on looking for things to like throw your memory into but then you just get sad it's like a really temporary happy and then you get really really sad i hate you nostalgia i really do because oh my god I, i'm having a nostalgia moment i think i'm like falling into a depression like right now in the middle of the video oh god paul soros jr when i first started getting into minecraft and like it was after that summer throughout my junior year that i started like live streaming a lot i started talking to a whole bunch of you guys someone bought me minecraft by the way during one of these live streams so um demu rar i remember you thank you so much for gifting me minecraft because the series probably wouldn't exist right now if you hadn't bought this for me and really gotten me into the game so yeah oh god this is so i can't i can't also the another oh, nostalgia another thing i was watching some of my old streams because Usually they delete themselves unless you click save, which I didn't fully know before. A Dalmatian! Uh, okay, let me not get sidetracked. So, I was watching an old stream. This is again, before Alejandro's. I was streaming with a friend of mine, like one of my real life friends. And I'm like, I did that? I forgot I told her to get on and stream with me because I didn't want to stream by myself. And I'd been watching Andrew Arcade and he streamed like with some of his friends. So I was like, all right, well, let me just get one of my friends on here. And like, I was such a noob to streaming, to Minecraft, to pretty much of this whole world that I've pretty much thrown myself into because now I stream for long periods of time. I I love you guys so much. You guys have like done I don't appreciate you guys enough, but I feel I I don't know. I mean, I do. I love you guys. That I, that was a weird way to put it, but like you guys have been with me for a long time throughout a lot of this and it's just thank you guys so much because some of these experiences are like the happiest of my life, so just thank you so much. Um, I'm getting so sappy, so we are going to um, go ahead, drop off some of the resources at my house, and I'm not going to end the part anytime soon. I think I'm going to make this go for about 35 minutes, just so you guys can get a decently like lengthy part. And we're going to try to find another cave. I saw some iron down there too, so I may go and get that. But we're gonna go adventure through a cave and watch me freak out because I know you guys really really enjoy that um so we're gonna do that let me just put some of the stuff away so um ooh, now I'm in a sappy mood help me uh, okay so we're gonna drop some of the stuff off I'll put the familiars guide away um and then oh, no I'm not gonna put it away let me keep it with me just in case because I feel like there's going to be just one moment where I really, really need it. I have the food that I need. I have my stuff that I need. I think that is all I'm going to put away. We are going to go to that cave. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or actually, I didn't even choose a cave yet, but I know there's like just multiple in the area. If you look at Ray's mini map, you can see that there's multiple on the map for me to just like go through, travel through, etc, etc. Um... But yeah, I really like this area way more than the area I was living in before. I know, sorry to my other Minecraft family who's pretty much been abandoned, but <laughs> I mean, I really, really like this area. And zombie, huh, zombie can't kill me. You can't kill me? Look at me, I have diamond armor. 
I have diamond armor, BB. You ain't got nothing on me. Nothing on me, yet why am I still paranoid? Okay. I thought I heard another mob. So I'm just gonna like chill down here. Back here as I gather my coal. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Um, so just gonna take all of this. Ugh, all right. I wanna kinda stay in bat form just in case. Let me get a torch for down here. I don't know which way I want to travel first. Um, there's some iron here, so let me just get this first. Watch my back, put my back against the wall, which is what I usually do. This way I can see if someone's coming and like swing my pickaxe at them in the face. Pickaxe in the face? Yeah. Sounds pleasant. And look, there's even coal under it. Hey, will you look at that? And it goes really deep down into the ground, which is probably not for the best. Not in my case, at least. So let's just continue to get this. But yeah, we, we got into some intense story time there. I don't know, it's been a while since I've done something like that and talked all depressing like, okay, let me light this up. There's so much coal down here. <sighs> Jake Gyllenhaal would be proud. Okay, um, or not really. He th That movie really wasn't about coal miners. It was more about his science experiment or something like that. But like, still, just the people in their town would be proud if you guys know what movie I'm talking about. I, I watched that in like eighth grade for some reason. I don't even know why. In eighth grade we watched a whole bunch of random videos though. We watched um okay so my teacher was absent a lot because like her dogs um she was married and she like had kids but like her dogs were like her kids in later on in her life because like you know she was getting older and her and her husband were older but yeah like she like would miss school a lot because one of her dogs was really sick and stuff like that and her dogs were like her kids, that's all I remember. And another thing I remember is just us watching like random videos all the time. Like we watch videos on Hurricane. I don't, I'm gonna t tell you straight up, I don't remember a thing I learned in eighth grade. Or like eighth grade science, like not a thing. <laughs> and honestly, I just did work to get through the day. I never paid much attention to it. It was just, I didn't do anything in that class. Not a single thing. So, hmm, how much experience points do I have? I have 25 experience points, so that means we're gonna actually have to go down here farther in the cave. I see some iron here that I'm definitely gonna come and take later, but I see a creeper. I see them little legs, creeper. Would you like to come out? Come out, whatever you are. BB. BB. I see you. Why is my game glitching when there's a creeper? That's not cool. That's not cool, really. Hey, BB. You wanna come? If you're ready, come get it. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. I can fly. I can fly and you can't. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? Experience points! Give me. Where are they? Yeah, you better give me those experience points. Oh, slut. Um, <laughs> anyway. Let's keep on flying. Come on. Okay. Alright, we just gotta keep going. I'm gonna... To make this easier for myself to get out... I hear a lot of like little slithering spiders and I don't like it. I really don't. I hear a spider. Where is he? Is this really where it ends? Oh hey! Liam has grown into an adult. No! My little slave! He has to work forever. He has to stay a child and work forever. Excuse me game. Disrespecting me are you? You do not age my child. You deliberately disobeyed me. Okay, um, <laughs> anyway, sorry, that's horrible. A lot of people are still so like, but why do you hate Eve, huh? It's a damn pixel and she irritates me, okay? So how about that? Is that a good enough reason for you? Is that a good enough reason? Okay, I'm, I swear I'm not on drugs. <laughs> Let me just continue mining, la 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 la. If we want to talk about nostalgia though, which we were earlier, let me tell you. I continued to go through my favorites and stuff this morning. I stumbled upon like random stuff because when I looked into Fruits Basket, I looked into the voice actors, AKA voice actress, um, Laura Bailey, because she's freaking awesome. She's done voices for like, um, the person that you are in Saints Row, that voice in Saints Row 3, the female. Yeah, that's Laura Bailey. And I'm just like, she's a badass, oh my God. And um, just like so, so much work so much work that she's done she's been in dragon ball z she's been in um so many like 
animes and stuff like that that you wa you've probably watched just like look her up and look at um all the jobs that she's done she's done so much it's kind of crazy and that i remember favoriting those videos back in june because it was still the end of my junior year i remember taking finals and talking to one of my friends about it so it is nighttime it is dark outside and all my villagers are gonna die so let me go ahead and save them you are not gonna kill my villagers you are not gonna kill them you are not gonna kill them i have come to save the day mm -mm. hey bay hey bay where's the other one no, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. I killed him. I think I killed him. There we go. I'm sorry I hit you. He probably- yeah, he hates me now, but it's fine. Why are you walking outside? I should go to bed. I should go to bed. Where's my house? I have to save everyone by going to bed. Oh my god, I can't find my house. Everyone's gonna die because of me. Oh, he's running into another house with an actual door. Why was he living in a house that didn't have a door in the first place is my question. Oh, oh, I, I heard the door that scared me. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> my sound- Oh my god, I'm a morph. I'm a freaking morph. I'm a morph. I'm a morph. Save the day and go to sleep. Okay, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Burn. Burn the zombies. Burn the zombies. Burn the zombies. Okay. Why are you guys going out- what, what, Are you stupid? Okay. There we go. Are you guys gonna actually attack these zombies, or are you leaving it to me, you useless little villagers, I swear. Oh, creeper, run! Why is it running away? It's running away! They're running away. Uh-uh, honey, honey, hey, hey, bae, 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 hey, bae, bae. Yeah, yeah, give me them experience points. Where they at? Where they at? The whole city behind me. Look, the whole city behind me. I'm turning ghetto, stop. Okay. <laughs> Um, Jerry the farmer hasn't seen me around. Well, I just saved your life, so does that make you feel any better? Where is the zombie coming from? I think I just walked away from the sound. The zombie's probably in one of these buildings. It's one of these, maybe? I hear people getting hurt, but my game's making me run to his love. Is it this house? Are you smuggling zombies in here? I'm gonna open all the doors. So, doors open. They're safe in here. I just think they don't have a door anymore. Open the door to my house. Everyone open the doors. Come on. This is not cool. Door. Door. How the heck do I hear the door all the way from the other side of the village if it's all the way over here? Where is he banging? Where on earth could you possibly be banging? Is my game glitching? It just can't be anymore. I opened all the doors in town. See, the more I come over here, the less I hear it. All the doors are open, but but zombie brains this place doesn't even have a door okay the sound is coming from here is there an invisible house underground i just don't even understand Let me go to the top of town. Here we go. Let me take a quick look. Oh, sweet God. What? What is this? What is this? <laughs> okay, guys, you can get up. Really? Is this legit right now? Is this actually happening? Why are you guys in a cave? I feel like I have to kill them all. It looks like little ants. Get, get, guys. Yeah, there you go. I just saved you all. How does that make you guys feel? Get out. Come on. And then, of course, the zombie is still endlessly... 
hitting the door even though it's actually not. Are you guys gonna get out of there? Is there a door down here? Hold on! Stop. Is this like a house down here? No. So what the heck is wrong with you guys? Oh! Okay, well that makes a whole lot of sense. You guys have been endlessly fighting over that door? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna break open this back area over here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's the struggle? And you guys were all running after that. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna fill in this little landfill down here. So if you wouldn't mind, um, not. <laughs> I'll come back to this cave eventually. Probably not. No, I'm not going to. But just, just going to. You guys can all get out now. I hate the gliding thing. I'm gonna get rid of this fairy real soon. I thought it was a good idea at first, but yeah, you can- Russ, you mind? Thanks, Russ. Why are you guys all running back here? I think the guards are like the most glitched out Minecraft comes alive characters probably. I'm gonna bury you all alive. I don't- I don't think you guys understand. I'm gonna bury you all alive if you don't move. Buried alive? All right. Bye. Get out. Bye. 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 Look! You guys won't get stuck in the ground anymore. Maybe you'll get stuck in the back of that fence, but not in the ground anymore. <sighs> and without further ado, guys, I'm going to end this part here. Continue to leave your suggestions down below as you guys usually do. And I will see you guys all next time. Goodbye.